Oh, it's wet. So the consensus from the climbing meeting. Got a wee party of cows following me this morning. Morning, Holly. What a beast. Big break down. It's a drill working there. Bad guys are all done, packed up, taking their kit away this morning. That'll get taken. I think they're going in two hours from here. Filling up the last trailer. Well, these are the last boxes here, spuds and spuds over there. That's them all to go. There'll be another lorry, obviously. Gabs are needing a bail. Tucking in. Duncan Kever shifting bales. Just had an agronomy meeting. Going to have a look at her field just now of barley, just see how it's looking. So the consensus from the economy meeting, um, on a whole everything look, everything's looking very good. Um, it just shows that having a really good harvest and getting everything in early and established then gives you such a better chance of moving into the winter. Anyway, barley's looking good. It needs, some of it needs sprayed to get rid of oilseed rain volunteers that are in it as well as an aphid spray pretty quickly. Oats need the aphid spray as well. Um, and then oilseed rapes looking good. It's got a bit of volunteer barley through it still. We'll spray that again. And also in a month's time we'll do that. And then right now it needs a spray for that burrowing weevil type thing. Burrows into it, we had quite a lot of that last year. Don't necessarily need to spray it for that. Generally after a, a big year of them, there's not as many the following year. But we're just gonna spray that anyway, get rid of them. I can't remember the name of this wee bug, but you can see it there. Um, but this isn't an issue. Um, it has caused a wee bit of damage to the leaf, but it, it seems to recover fine. Uh, we don't need to be concerned about that wee, that wee creamy coloured bug that you can see there. Um, that's on the oilseed rape. Wheat, in general, is looking pretty good. Just buying a tarpaulin at the moment, 10 by 11 metres, to cover the grain dryer. So it's a relatively heavy duty, it's kind of middle ground. Um, 250 grams per square meter. So hopefully this will do the job um, and stop the kind of ingress of water. Also some clippers for the calves backs, needing to get a set of them. Just gonna go and check on this leak. There's not been heavy, heavy rain, so I think it'll be fine at the moment. We'll need to wait until proper rain and then we'll know for sure if it's fixed. Dry bucket though, promising. Another dry bucket. Just kind of putting things away now. Duncan Kevin bringing in bales, putting them in the shed at the moment. So shifting this trailer and there's another trailer in there. Put them in this big shed out the road. We will use them, but not at the moment. It's one in. I'll get the other one in there next to the grain pusher. Need to order steel for that actually. You see the bales up there. Just gonna push this trailer out of the way so I can get in at this trailer and to get out the road. A bit of a tight squeeze coming out of here. Oh, I'm gonna make it past that bucket. Ah, loads of room. Also, if anyone knows of an old tatty planter, really old, well, not really old, but as in cheap, cheap tatty planter kicking about, it's not just for planting a wee patch of something. Let me know. I'm in, but I need to check if we're going to hit the grain pusher. Now nah, we're golden. That's two in. We've got two more trailers. One can just sit outside because it's filled with rubbish. And the other new one, the big one, it's along the road. At yard number two, undercover. Everything parked up. Lights off. Shut the door. Right, there's a delivery of pots to go to Glasgow, so hold on. These pots, uh, some of those, and another one out of front of the shop. I think there's three in total. So I'm putting a livestock trailer on, we'll get the pots into the trailer, get them strapped down, and that's going to take the entry to Glasgow. Should be bang on. Here comes more bales. 
cab went the other way. That's it, loaded up. These um, are to be a ramp because this is obviously very bumpy and the pallet forks need to be used at the other end to get the pallets off. In theory they shouldn't move, they're relatively strapped down. Looks a mess. Just had Andrew from United Oil Seeds here testing the oil seed rape. Um, so we'll take that way, test it for, what will we test it for? Really really oil content tool. and a few other things. I don't actually know. I'll find out. I'll tell you. You'll, you'll find out right after this. Moisture, oil content, and add mixture. So the amount of anything else in it, the likes of barley, which has got a wee bit of barley through it. You're allowed 2% um, of an add mixture into it, so other crops through it. Good few bales in. Just grab the forklift. Need to feed the coos and the calves with some ammonia straw. Question of the day, what do you call this? There's a wee bit of salad wrap to fill off and just get it before one of them munches it. Hey beasts, looking well. They're starting to lose a wee bit of condition now. Because there's no grass, so. Beast over there, it's a bit lame on the back leg to get her in for a look. Oh, it's wet. Just have a check on the wee fella. Yeah, I would almost say he's improved a bit. He seems to be lying down less in here than he was outside in the field. Which, probably the more he moves around on those front legs, the better it'll be just for keeping the movement in them, don't let them get stiff and stuck. Anyway, they're all looking well otherwise. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Like in that corner, subscribe in that corner. See you in the next video.